Okay, this uh, tutorial is going to be on parting our objects and it's something that we really do want to do quite a lot of. So we've got what would be the very, very rudimentary beginnings of an interior here. So, but we want to add some interior walls and things and a really, really fast way that we can do that is just I'm going to add myself some loop cuts here and some loop cuts here to make myself a grid. should be fairly even, but it doesn't need to be perfectly even. But then if I want, um, let's say I want a set of walls coming out here, all I would need to do is select faces on my grid and you can see here that if I were to just extrude this out like this okay that creates a problem because we have some overlapping faces and Z fighting under here so I'm not gonna do that and instead I'm gonna just create continue creating where I think my walls of this room should be So I think that's enough for now. Um, I'm going to hit P on my keyboard and I'm going to hit separate selection. So that gives me two separate objects. And what I can do that now with my second um, object is I can add in a solidify mod modifier and that is instantly going to give me interior walls that I can move up and down and manipulate that will be a separate object. Now one thing this does do is it leaves holes behind in your object and if you would like your um, starting object to remain intact it's exactly the same thing you just select where you would want a wall or anything else to go and then you hit shift D to duplicate it and then you hit tab or no you don't you hit P to separate the selection and then you can see here if I just put myself the right way up if I can get it there we go um, if I just extrude that out so we've got an object to work with we can see that it leaves our original object fully intact and we can keep doing this as much as we want so for instance if I wanted some again to block out some say shelves on this wall I think we're calling it a wall for now I would just do the same again, I'd duplicate them, I'd hit P and then I would either go out and extrude those or add in a solidify modifier and that would allow me to keep keep going without destroying my previous edge flow. Uh, 